Coach, that's just a tough, hard-fought game in the NCAA. She obviously doesn't go your way, but what did you think about just the fight of the guys tonight? Well, I thought for 60 minutes it was a great hockey game. It was back and forth. I thought the third period, actually both teams made plays to win that hockey game. Um, some of the goalies were equal to some. They, you know, we didn't deliver to the net for sure. Alex Bump made a couple big-time plays in that third that should have won us that game. And, and, and Cam Rowe was equally as good as well. And then... You know, the, the overtime, we go out and embarrass ourselves. You know, we have th three of our best players on the ice, and everybody acted like it was our first time playing three on three. So that's not the way we're supposed to play it, and we'll be better tomorrow on that if it comes to it. You guys had uh, seven fewer shots on goal than they did, but uh, you it looked like you guys had a handful of great chances to score. Why do you think you got stuck on one goal? Well, the goal is real good. And then we pass up some shots we're supposed to shoot, for sure. So the one that really sticks out, third period, Alex Bump makes a play under a stick, slides it over to Tim Washi, cross and he decides to pass. It's the time to smash that on net and try to make a goal. So we, we've got to shoot the puck. We've got to look to the net more for sure. I think, again, we've created some chances. They're a hard team to create against. We're a hard team to create against. So it's probably going to be a low-scoring game as it usually is with them. Uh, you guys, do you think the lack of penalties and power plays hurt you guys, or how do you think that played out? Well, I mean, I, I will take that game the way it was called all day long. I think it allowed teams, both teams to compete real hard. I think it's super entertaining hockey for the fans um, instead of a penalty fest that we, you know, that we had last weekend. How do you, how do you get past this one and move on to tomorrow? Get ready for tomorrow. Wake up tomorrow. Yeah, this is already passed. Like it, it, it's in the past. As soon as they scored, the game's over. So we're going to go on to the next one and, and we're already focused. We already talked about as a team to, about the responsibility of those three guys in the ice. They're going to have to be our best players tomorrow. It seemed like they really were on the front foot there in the second period and kind of, you know, answered or responded. Just what was so, what's so frustrating or what's like their style of play that yeah. like is, well, so, is so different? Frustration is weakness. We don't show it. So they're a good team as well. We can't just run them over for 60 minutes. It doesn't work that way. So they pushed, I thought, for the, for you're 100% correct. By the way, the first five to seven minutes of the second period, they were the better hockey team. I thought by the end of the second period, we had pushed back. And I thought even the first five to six minutes of the third period, we were the better hockey team. So that's kind of it's going to go in our league and with real good teams. It's going to go back and forth. Um, they pushed real hard. We survived it. We're going to push back, uh, you know, when we get our chance. You've dropped three of four now. Um, is there something in particular that you're noticing from this team during this stretch or anything that's changed um... Just in, in well, I think there's I, we, there's a lot of quality play, honestly, and and, and I, I thought two of those I, I, I didn't think we got our best goal. Tending Cam wasn't as sharp as he's been, um, so goals went in our net too easy. So once we turned that around, they didn't do that tonight. Uh, we still found a way to. It's an overtime loss. Um, I thought again. I thought there was a lot of quality hockey out there, and what you'd expect a good, you know, competitive hockey game with another good team.